Here we go. Late August. We got early goose season starting in about oh six days, I think. Five or six days. September 1st it starts, I believe. Gotta look that up. But uh, so we're going out here and doing a little scouting. Uh, we can't hunt out here in early season because uh, it's uh, public access and uh, too many boats out this time of year. So they restrict hunting until uh, uh, regular season. So anyway, we're heading out. We did this last year. Gary and I went out here and scouted this lake. I believe it was September and looked over a couple of the blind locations and checked it out to see what we had. My son John and I are coming out today and uh, we're going to do the same thing, go to the same places and see what we can see. So hang with us. Dead ahead, we're going almost to the uh, end of the water there, is where a creek is, and we're going to hang it right and go up that creek a little ways, see if that beaver dam's still there. see some geese sitting on the bank up here where we're going. This is that spot that I shot a goose that had Tilly made that big long retrieve out here in the middle of this. But I was sitting right up there and that's where my decoys were. That's where them birds are sitting right now. And that's where we're headed. We're back that way. We're actually going to go back beyond that hopefully. But uh, those geese ought to get up and leave here as we get close. They're watching us now. They're on full alert. They'll be getting up here any second probably. As we close in on them. It's like the water's lower than it was last fall. But we've had a dry spell here for about three weeks. an eagle up in that tree dead ahead. There they go. He's right behind that upper part of that tree. He blends in. I don't know if it's a golden eagle or what, a juvenile bald eagle. Not real sure. I think you can see him now. Well, we've run aground. The creek continues on up through here. Last year, this was about knee-deep water right here. 
and above the willows over there is where that beaver dam was. Don't know if it's still there or not, but I'm going to get out and go explore and see. We might just portage the kayaks over there. What? I'm going to see if the beaver dam's still here. Ooh, it's not looking good, folks. This is kind of a spillway or creek that feeds off of it here. By golly. Hmm. There's geese sitting up there on it. Here they come. Oh yeah. How about that for a shot? Well, the beaver dam itself is gone. It was right here. And it's been blown out or washed out or pulled out or something. It looks like I see chainsaws have been out here, so I'm guessing DNRs probably came out and cleaned it up. A couple white herons. So, it's a lot smaller, but it's still there and it's still accessible. At least by kayak. You could never get back in here with a boat, but... Someone's been out here digging. Right there's a spot that we hunt, sat and hunt. It'd be interesting to see what happens here in about six, seven weeks from now. When it starts getting colder and we get rain. See if this starts filling up because it's wet but it's low, very low. Get back in the barge. Paddle out. Going about six to eight inches deep right here. I'm not dragging most of it. There's a little channel ditch in here that you gotta kind of follow. Oh, I got off. Tough back getting out of here. I can't see. I'm in the shade and shadows.
back into open water. All right, this is just one of several places. I don't know if we'll get them all, but I want to get to the next one, which is, oh, half an hour or so to, to get there by paddling. So I'll check back with you in a bit. Okay, we're coming up in the, another section of the lake. August 26th. Bunch of birds sitting up here. They were resting, and now they're starting to stand up and walk away. But we did this last year, and they waited until we got right on them before they got up. towards them, John. Just paddle like you're going to go past them. Ooh. See any collars or bands on them? They're splitting up. Half's going to the right, half's going to the left. It's getting real shallow here. And this is mucky mud under here. There they go. At least half of them. Here they go. Well, there's two of them back here that either think they're invisible or they might be hurt, something, like maybe they can't fly, or they're just stupid. So we'll just sit here and see what they do. They're right back there on that fringe of the shadow, shade. So it's really kind of hard to see. One of them's out in the sun, one of them's just to the right and a little further back. Must be the banded ones. This place has always been known for hundreds of geese and they stay almost pretty much year round. Well, if I could get closer, I would, but I don't think I can get much closer. The mud stopped me. It's sticky too, that's why I don't get out. It, that's exactly what it is. That's why we don't get out of here. Trying to walk in that stuff, you go to your knees and it sticks to you like glue. Well, they must be a mating pair or something. They're sticking together there. I don't know if they're going to get up and go or they're just going to hang out and be back here, but we'll leave them alone. side of the island here. It's nice and tranquil over here.
Sounds like a chainsaw. Oh, he's got a leaf blower going. <laughs> of vultures or something up here on this shoreline. There's about 15, 20 of them. I don't think they're scared, John. Boy, they're ugly, though. They remind me of those flying monkeys on Wizard of Oz. The way they hop. One left. A couple of them went up and oh, they're all going up in the trees. They all went up in those trees right there. That one did too. Oh, here comes some more. Man, they're ugly. I think maybe they're looking for handouts. Wait to see if we throw something out for them. About three feet away from me now. Three feet away from the front of the boat. Man, those things are ugly, ain't they? <laughs> standing up on that stump right there. He's going to jump. <laughs> Oh, those things are nasty looking. I'm going to climb them up through the weeds and up that hillside there. There they go. Getting up on the hill and jumping for extra flight. I don't know. They go up that hill right there and walk up to the top and then jump and take off through the trees. Now we're real close. There's the front of my boat. I got the camera zoomed in. Definitely not afraid of anything. That one's got skin that comes down his neck about halfway. That one's got feathers that go about halfway all the way up to the back of his head. They're very distinctive difference. No idea what they are. They're not turkey vultures, I don't think. But they sure are ugly. Time to go, buddy. You're all by yourself.
there. Hold it up there, Johnny. Because I don't have a drill to hold the thing. 